Hey guys, it's Jonathan. So I'm making a vi this video for everybody who moved forward with the Edge Light, our $27 offer. Here is the spread. The way that I would use this, first of all, I would just keep it up in paper trade. And what we're looking for is we're looking for these breakdowns. The green is gonna be S&P against NASDAQ. The blue, S&P Russell. And this red here, NASDAQ Russell. So if you want to sell the green, selling the first thing and buying the second thing, selling one ES, buying one NQ. And if you sell it here, that's at the you know, $300 mark. If it goes down to the zero mark, if you sold it and bought it back, you would make $300. Again, we look at everything in P&L of the spread. What's interesting today is look at the blue line and the green line. That's gonna be the S&P Russell is the blue line, and then S&P NASDAQ is gonna be the green line. My question for you, leave the answer in the comments. If you did this spread and you sold the blue, you sold S&P and you bought Russell, and you bought the green, you bought S&P and you sold NASDAQ, if you put that trade on and then the trade comes in and when I say it comes in, it worked. What would have been, here's my question. Instead of doing both spreads, buying the S&P and selling the NASDAQ, the green line, and then selling the S&P and buying the Russell, the blue line, instead of doing both spreads, what could you have also done, which would have been much easier to do? That's my question. And then what I leave you with is, what about the opposite trade right now? Buying the blue line and selling the green line. So leave your answer in the comments. Again, instead of doing both sides of the trade, like doing both sides of the trade right now, what would be an easier way to express that opinion of hoping or playing that they converge, that they have this kind of behavior or this kind of behavior, okay? Leave your answer in the comments. Jonathan Rose, owner, Masters in Trading.